Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to see how to check if we're connected to a network and if we have internet in our Flutter applications. We're going to use this connectivity plugin which is very simple to use and only thing is that as it says here on Android it does not guarantee internet access but it, we can check if we're connected to a network. Here's an example on how to do it and everything over here but let me go over to Visual Studio Code so we can install this plugin. If you're trying to install a package from this pub for the first time, every single of these packages I think has this installing tab and you just copy this over and we're going to paste this to our pubspec.yaml I think. So let me do that real quick over here, a single tab and this should be it. And now when I save this file, it's going to get this dependency. As you can see, it says Flutter packages get running. When we get exit code zero, it means that it installed this plugin successfully. And now let's build a quick UI so we can test this plugin. Here I have an empty Flutter application and I'm just going to put in the center, I'm going to put a button. And when the user clicks on that button, we're going to show a pop-up which is going to say we have internet connectivity or we don't have internet connectivity. So let's do that. Okay, so here I've created a button and now we need to implement the onPress method. I'm going to have it as a separate method so we don't clutter our UI code. Okay, so here we have this empty method and now we'll check if we're connected to the internet or not. Whenever I'm installing some kind of a Flutter package, it installs it correctly and then when I try to use the class and go to these options, I really don't have an option to import it. So what I tend to do is just restart Visual Studio Code and make this work again like that. I think if you're using Android Studio, everything should work correctly, but in Visual Studio Code, it obviously doesn't. So let me save the file and I'm going to quit Visual Studio Code and restart it. Okay, now let's see, and we get an option to import the library. Now let's write the rest of the code. Okay, so here we wrote this method, and as you can see, this await is underlined, and that's because in order to use await in any function, we need to make that function async. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so since I'm now going to show three alert dialogues, I'm going to create a function show dialog, which is going to get past the title and the text that it needs to show, so we don't overcomplicate this to keep this simple and clean. Alright, so here we wrote this method and we get the title and the text and we call the show dialog function that is a Flutter built-in function and here we pass in the context and the builder which basically builds this alert dialog and we pass in our title and our text and here we add uh, action ok just so we can remove this dialog when we want to. And now only thing we need to do is call this show dialog function in all of three of these and our app should work fine. Okay, so here we have all the calls to our method and now this app should work fine. Let me try to run the app and see if it works. Okay, so here's our app up and running and as you can see we have this check connectivity button and when we click it, it's going to say you're connected over Wi-Fi. But let's test this a little bit more. So as you can see, here we're connected over Wi-Fi and over mobile data. If we turn off Wi-Fi, let's say now check connectivity, you're connected over mobile data and if we turn off mobile data and check again, you're not connected to a network. Now, as I said earlier in the documentation, it clearly states for this library that on Android, you may be connected to a Wi-Fi network, but from there you might not have internet access. So bear that in mind as you as you are developing your apps with this. I think most of the times you'll need to make an HTTP request to be sure that you have internet access on Android, but. Uh, it's not really a big deal and that's pretty much it if you like this video subscribe to the channel like the video follow me on Instagram so you can stay updated when I post other videos and that's it see you next time